I need you to tell me. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently in the bottom of the first inning of the 2022 Charles Johnson Summer League All-Star Game. Fortunately, we had some technical difficulties to start the game off. But we're getting set here in the bottom of the first. The National League is up to the plate. The National League is the home team in today's ball game, in today's game. I'm going to flip the camera over for you guys so you can see it now. That is a ground ball to the third baseman, Tarek Latchman, who was unable to come up with it. And that will go down as the first error of the ball game. So with that, up to the plate from the Bahamas, D Flowers. And the first pitch, taken for a ball, just a top play. A runner on first, none on, one on, no out. In the top half of the first inning, just a recap, EJ struck out. Antonio walked but got thrown out by the catcher. He's trying to steal second. And Connor struck out looking to end the side. It was a three-up, three-down inning following the throwdown by the catcher. Anyways, a ball got past the catcher down here in the bottom half of the first, but no advance uh, by the runner on first base. And there is a base, not a base hit. It was a ball hit to the second base side. Second baseman was able to make a play, throw it over to second for the fielder's choice. So with Flowers' fielder's choice, Euless from the Beach Bums is at the dish. And the fresh count goes to 1-0. and Umpire said the off speed was just a bit high. Should come set. Deals to 1-0. A fastball taken the other way in the air. But camp under is the outfielder out and right. Two outs following the fly out from Ulysses. And with that, Tommy Ramos from the Bahamas is up to the dish. Tommy just participated in this year's All Star Derby, Home Run Derby. Takes the first pitch slider outside the ball one. And the 1 0. Swing and a miss. Fastball. Strike number one to Tommy Ramos. Pitcher comes set, deals the 1-1. One, one. A slider did not get Tommy to bite. It's 2-1. And,
here to pitch. No call from the umpire. I was close. It's a full count now. Three, two. All four. So runner was stealing. That'll put runners on first and second with one man out. And up to the dish, Mikey Bell from the Cobras. Mike swings through strike number one. Michael Bell is having himself quite the summer. In 45 plate appearances, Michael has 20 hits, six doubles, and five triples this summer, hitting a staggering 444 at the dish. Gets on base 49% of the time. Great numbers from Michael Bell. A behind in this count, looking to do some damage with the runner on first and second. Gets the sign and ready to deal. The 1 1. Mike pops up the off speed. And that would be. Out number three. Michael Bell flies out to the second baseman to end the inning. And with that, we're going to head to the top of the second. The scoreless affair. Ladies and gentlemen, we are broadcasting today's game live on our YouTube, CBO-TV. If you'd like to let your family and friends know, again, we are live streaming today's game on YouTube, CBO-TV. Also, after the game, ladies and gentlemen, just a couple of our sponsors out there. Twin Peaks is the official sports bar of the Charles Johnson Summer League. There's a Twin Peaks located less than one mile from the park. If you're looking for something to do tonight, Axe Throwing Society is also a sponsor of the league. Located less than three miles from the ballpark at 1301 Copens Road, Axe Throwing Society is host of Axe Throwing, one of the hottest new attractions in the world. And with the half inning complete, Tarek Latchman is up to the dish. Tarek just before this was the final round of the home derby and wound up losing to the eventual champion, Kevin Hirsch. Tarek is 14 for 38 this summer with a walk-off home run and four extra base hits. And he swings through in off speed for strike number one. And the oh and one hits him. And that will be the second walk of the game. 
for the American League. And with that, up to the dish is Chris from the Tide. Chris Williams from the Fort Lauderdale Tide. And quickly falls behind is the pitcher. Pitcher set and deals. Swung on and foul back. Yes. Chris sets back into this. He is ready to swing it again. Pitcher looks over at. Latchman, who's over on first after the pitch, deals, and a foul ball. Williams just a little late on that fastball. Puts it towards the first base. Dugout. Ready, the 2-2 two -two pitch it is once again popped up. That is going out of play towards the grandstands. William fights off another fastball, keeps the count two and two. Blackman is still on first base. And we're all set here. Count is still two and two. Pitcher is ready and deals. Off speed. Williams able to get uh, under the ball, but out in left field. A great play by the outfielder to come in and steal a base hit from Williams. We now have one out following the fly ball to the left fielder. That will bring to the dish from the Sebastian Nikos, Cody Flint. And the pitch, and off speed. A little two in, says the home plate umpire. Got one man out, one man on. Cody Flint at the dish. Flint turns on a fastball, rips it down the line. Just a bit foul. set and deals an off speed Flint puts it through the five six hole that's going to be a base hit first base hit of the night for this all-star game
After Flint Spades hit, Darren Russell steps to the dish. Darren is from the Bahamas, I'm representing Team Bahamas here in the All Star game. And the pitcher is set and deals. All one, it gets away from the catcher, and that's going to advance both runners to second and third on that wild pitch. Looks like the fastball just got away. Aaron is back in the box and ready to go on the wild pitch. Let's get it, deals. That's a fastball. It's going to be taken down the line. That's going to be a base hit. One comes in. Second one's coming around. Flint's headed home. The throw goes to second. Called out. Darren Russell gets thrown out. It brings in two runs on the base hit. And that will break open the scoring for the American League All-Stars. For those of you at home taking score of today's game, in your books you would mark that a base hit and a 7-4 put out for Darren Russell. And with that, George Gonzalez steps to the dish. With the bases empty and two men out, George takes ball number one. And the 1 0 taken for ball number two. George quickly ahead and count. Following George's big week one that earns him player of the week, he has continued to stay hot for the Panthers and stays hot there with a base hit up the middle to keep the inning alive. George has been almost impossible to get out this summer. Good piece of hitting from Gonzalez. And that ball is popped up and hit towards the right fielder who's camped under it. And that will be out number three of the inning. And with, with the inning complete, two runs come around on three base hits and a walk. The American League leads it 2 nothing. ahead to the bottom of the second.
We're all set for the bottom of the second inning. Leading off, representing the Cobras, is Luis Mignon. And first pitch is taken low to ball number one. And the pitcher comes set and deals. It's a Ball hit to the third baseman. Tarek Latchman makes a throw over to first, and we'll have the first out of the bottom of the second inning. And a great play there by the second baseman from the Bahamas, but the throw just a little too late. And Malik Barian has been able, able to get to first on the infield single. That's going to bring up to the dish Connor Nightingale. And Malik is able to steal second without a throw on ball number one. Not on they gave me the wrong, they gave me the wrong lineup. I think that was, was that Dion? Oh, but Dion, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that was. Now it's Alejandro. Yeah, that must have been Dion Daniels, I guess. This Connor's not playing. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Connor Nightingale has only been announced as an all-star. He played in the Futures game earlier today and is not in tonight's lineup. That was Dion Daniels. And up to the dish. Representing the Cobras is Alejandro de Arasosa. Alejandro looks at strike number one. And the 0 1 quickly 0 and 2 now. Fires in two strikes to Beach Bump's pitcher. So two outs. And a man on third. Darrow Sosa is down in the count. 0 2. And swings through an off speed pitch. He puts it right towards the right fielder who makes the play. And that's going to end inning number two of baseball. Still a 2 0 game in favor of the American League. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We have a very special guest in the booth. Charles Johnson himself will be joining us for. In game interview. Ready to jump here? Sure, absolutely. It's easy for you. Wonderful, wonderful. CJ. First the podcast, now you get to do it live. How you been? 
I've been doing great. Been doing great, man. Just having a good time watching these young kids um, perform and, um, and and giving them a chance to play in some good summer league baseball. Have you? Uh, have you? Uh, have you taken the day so far, man? We've already gone through a futures game, home run derby, which was super exciting, mm -hmm. and now we get one more fun game at the All Star game. It's been a great day of baseball. What was you taking away so far? You know. Um, what I'm so proud about is that we had a chance to have some uh, coaches come out today and a lot of these young kids get a chance to showcase their skills as far as um, running with 60 and, and uh, taking batting practice in field and get a chance to, for, for, for some of these uh, coaches to see them on the field play um, in uh, the Futures game and allow some of these young kids to get a chance to also to be seen in front of um, some of these coaches. And the main thing, the way I see this is that for these young kids to get to college. That's really our main goal is just getting all these kids to college. But at the same time, some kids are already in college, but it gives them a chance to really get to uh, refine their skills leading up until the fall. Right. Now, this is your second All-Star game of the league. What's been the big difference between last year's All-Star game and this one so far? Well, you know, you know, All-Star game to me is always fun. It's always a really relaxed moment. And, and you know, last year's All-Star game was, uh, you know, back home, my home. But to have it here close to my home is very exciting. And, and I've been enjoying the balance for the guys that are really swinging the bats well today. And, um, you know, uh, so I'm hoping they just continue to keep it up. Absolutely. And before we go, you want to show the crowd what the All Star Game MVP will receive today? Oh, yes. No question about it. They receive a baseball, uh, Charles Johnson baseball. And hopefully they'll cherish it and enjoy it. And, and I really appreciate the young kids coming out and participating in uh, CJ Summer League. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, CJ. Thank you. It's bro. been a pleasure having right. you on. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Charles for coming on there. We're going to flip the camera back over as we're getting started in the top of the third inning. And batting for the American League to start off the inning will be JoJo Mann from the Cobras. JoJo Mann has, will be seen multiple times today as JoJo is also a pitcher. So here he is taking the American League. And we're all set top of the third inning here. Pitch number one underway. A fastball taken for strike one by man. Jojo is one of the lead leaders in innings pitching this summer. He is already up to 25 innings pitch. And I believe three starts and a couple of relief appearances has already compiled two complete games this summer. Jojo swings on an off speed there. That'll be strikeout number one and out number one for the National League. That will bring up to the dish EJ. Back to the top of the order. This is EJ. Interesting fact about Jojo. He has spent the last decade in China. Jojo spent the last decade in China and then came over, came back over to the United States to play college baseball. So with one on, excuse me, with one out and nobody on, EJ steps into the box and swings through a fastball for strike number one. And the 01 taken low and away for ball number one. And we have ourselves a even count here at one apiece.
Ouch. And that fastball gets by the catcher and gets the umpire right in the chest. He's okay. Looks to be all right. And the catcher's going to go out and talk with the pitcher, give the umpire a second to get reset, and then we too will be set and ready to go. Here's. Folks, it appears that there is a conversation going on near the first base dugout. Unfortunately, it looks like there's some rain in the forecast. Brought a halt to the game. As there is some lightning in the area. As soon as we get an update here in the booth, we will let you know. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, the lightning is just a little bit too close to the ballpark. We're going to take a break here. And hopefully, hope that this is going to pass quickly enough so we can get back playing. Again, it is top of the third inning. It's a 2 nothing game. In favor of the American League. We are under a lightning delay. We'll be right back here at Northeast High School for your 2022 Charles Johnson Summer League All Star Game.
Ladies and gentlemen, back and in business. Still at top of the third inning. And just to refresh your memory, JoJo, JoJo Man struck out prior to us getting delayed. And there's one out in the top of the third. It's a 2 nothing game. And that is actually ball four. We ended off on a 3 0 count to EJ. And with that walk, Antonio Martinez steps up to the dish. In his first plate appearance, Martinez struck out to open the game for the AL. And that pitch gets away from the catcher. And EJ Lewis is able to advance a second on the wild pitch. So the ring passed through. The lightning has cleared up. And we're back in business here at the ballpark. And that's a balk. Field umpire ruled that a balk. And EJ, in two pitches, has made his way to third base. Again, Martinez still at the dish. It's a 1-0 count. Infield is in. And the pitch is a fastball ripped foul straight to the dugout of the away side American League. The American League was also the winner of today's Futures game, as there's a ground ball. And the shortstop, doing a good job to keep Lewis at third, will make the throw over to first base, and that will be out number two. And with that coming through the dish... It is Connor Nightingale. Connor takes ball one there. And a stolen base attempt at home is cut short by the pitcher and catcher, and E.J. Lewis gets tagged at the plate, trying to steal one from the National League. Good job there. And with that 1-3 put out, we will head to the bottom of the third. It's still a 2 nothing game. Up at the dish for the National League is Tyler Stone. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, just for clarification, following the rain delay, we're going to move to a 5 30 hard stop or five inning game, whichever comes first. Again, we will finish today's game. After the fifth or after 5.30, we will not be playing a seven after the rain delay.
We're all set here for the bottom of the third inning. It's still a 2 0 game. American League, the away team, put up two in the top half of the second to open up the scoring in this in this all star game. Probably someone from the Makos hoping to open it up for the National League, and he puts a good jolt into that one, but it's going to be right at the center fielder for out number one. Pitch number one is a fastball for strike number one. The rain continues to fall down here. It's a sun shower here in Sunshine State. As the off speed pitch there in the dirt. It's a 1 1 count. And the 1 1 runs in for ball number two. And the off speed in the dirt. That's going to be ball number three. Fires back in the strike here to get the count full. That one fouled back right past the press box. It's still a full count, three and two. And the three two is poked the opposite way. That is going to fall. No, says the field umpire. He ruled that one foul. So the count will remain at three and two. I believe this is Kim. I believe this is Kim at the dish. I could be mistaken. This is Let's take it for ball four. So, following the one-out walk, the next batter at the dish represents the Beach Bums. Fortunately, I do not have his name. It's a pickoff attempt. And quickly, the count goes to one no. The rain has stopped here at Northeast High. And that is a fly ball right at left fielder for out number two.
And strike number one fired in. As the rain has once again started here at the park. Ladies and gentlemen, before that pop-up to the second baseman, Alejandro de Arasosa was put in place at first base for a pitch runner. But the inning is now over. So after three, the score is still 2-0. American League leads it, headed to the fourth. Again, this is going to be a five-inning game due to the rain delay. Five-inning game. 